Egyptian God card. Hey guys, it's Ash here with Watch Mojo, and today we'll be ranking every duel Yugi Moto has fought in Yu-Gi-Oh! Alright, here goes! I activate my Ragnarok card! Now! Yes! For this list, we'll be looking back on every major duel that both Yugi and Pharaoh Atom have fought in the anime. We'll only be looking at matches from the main series, so movies and crossovers are ruled out. We're also only looking at the actual duels, so Dungeon Dice Monsters is sadly ruled out. The three crests, none of them match! Number 38 versus Rebecca Hawkins. An annoying young duelist challenges Yugi's grandpa to a duel over a misunderstanding, but Yugi duels her in his place. Yugi could have won, but he chose to surrender because really, it wasn't worth it in the end. I surrender, Rebecca. Yeah! Number 37, this is Casey Dueltech 760. To escape the Duel Dome and begin the Grand Championship, Yugi will have to take out the malfunctioning KC Duel Tech 760. He has to use some amateur beginner's deck and still wins because he's Yugi. Now, my spirit, destroy his Jinzo and the rest of his life points! Number 36, this is Johnny Steps. An arrogant punk named Johnny Steps won't stop harassing Taya, so Yugi decides to put him in his place, Duel Monsters style. Once Johnny realizes who he's really up against, he forfeits like a coward. What a champ. And it's your move, Johnny. Just forget it. I can't hang with you. I'm out, man. I'm a dancer, not a duelist. Number 35. This is Bandit Keith. Well, sort of. Bandit Keith has been brainwashed to steal the Millennium Puzzle, so Yugi will have to fight him without Yami's help. While the duel ends abruptly without a winner, it does introduce the threat of Marek. There's someone inside my head! Shut up and duel! Keith? Number 34, this is Maximilian Pegasus, the first encounter. Pegasus forces Yugi to duel him and then cheats his way to victory, stealing his grandpa's soul as a prize. While it kickstarts the events of Duelist Kingdom, it's incredibly rushed and unfair. <gasps> Yugi! Number 33 versus Garimo. Yuki first encounters one of Darts' minions and gets a small taste of what's to come in the Waking the Dragon's arc. This duel isn't bad by any means, but compared to what's in store for him, it's pretty standard. The more monsters you have, the more life points you lose! I lost! Number 32, Battle City Semi-Finals Battle Royale. This four-way duel between Yugi, Kaiba, Joey, and Marek will determine who will face who in the Battle City semi-finals. While nothing eventful really happens, it's still a novelty to see such a brawl, and it lays the groundwork for two of the season's most intense battles. Looks like you're on the express elevator to Loserville. Bye-bye now! I'll deal with you shortly! Number 31 versus Panic. One of Pegasus' eliminators steals Mai's star chips, so Yugi puts this ghoulish poser in his place by breaking the game's logic. You'll find that happens a lot in the series' first season. Hmm. <sighs> Number 30 versus Vivian Wong. Vivian blackmails Yugi into a duel so he'll go on a date with her. Yeah, that's really what we're going with. It's not a long duel, but any excuse to see the Dark Paladin in action is good for us. Game over. Number 29 versus Gansley. In the very first duel of the Virtual World arc, Yugi does battle against Gansley with a little unexpected help from Karibo. Both Yugi and Gansley learn not to underestimate Karibo, but we thought we knew that already. All right, Karibo! Form the Rainbow Arch! What is he doing? Number 28, this is Seto Kaiba's Ghost. 
Pegasus hires a Kaiba lookalike to psych out Yugi, but Yugi bashes through this imposter's facade with a little help from the real Kaiba. In the end, Yugi delivers a grim message to Pegasus. The future king of games is coming for him. This can't be happening! Oh no! No! Consider this a message from the real Seto Kaiba. You lose! <laughs> Number 27 vs Raphael, the first encounter. Backed into a corner by Raphael, Atom chooses to play the seal of Orikalkos. This is Atom's ultimate failure and first clean loss in the anime, and it costs him the respect of his monsters and the soul of his closest friend. What are you doing here? It only needs one of us, so I'm letting the seal take me instead. No! Yugi! Number 26, this is the Exodia Rare Hunter. Yugi kicks off Battle City right by taking out a Rare Hunter's deck full of Exodia cards. It's fitting, Yugi once had Exodia in his deck, so he knew better than anyone how to exploit its weaknesses. All of your Exodia heads have been eliminated from your hand and your deck. And with no heads left to play, you can no longer draw all five pieces into your hand to summon Exodia. No, that's impossible! Number 25, Atom vs. Yugi, the first encounter. For the first time ever, Atom and Yugi duel each other, but it turns out to be a test. While the duel isn't very interesting, it was the reality check that Atom needed to help him keep moving forward. He was able to reverse my attack and double its strength to win the duel! What have I done? Yugi! Number 24, this is the Big Five. The Big Five tries to take one last shot at leaving the virtual world by challenging Yugi and Joey to a duel, but the duo's camaraderie shines through yet again. If anyone thinks that Joey holds Yugi back, they're dead wrong. There goes your deck master. That means all oh. five of you automatically lose this duel. Number 23, this is Yami Bakura, the first encounter. Yami Bakura makes his chilling debut and challenges Atom to a shadow duel with Yugi and his friends acting as the cards. It's a simple but tense little match that lays the groundwork for one of the series' biggest overarching antagonists. You got it! Dark magic attack! Number 22 vs Mako Tsunami Another stepping stone on Yugi's Duelist Kingdom journey, but it became infamous for the absurd way Yugi won the duel. Honestly, it's mind-boggling how the first season could play loosey-goosey with the game's rules in such a ridiculous way. Now, Stone Soldier, destroy the moon! Number 21, this is Weevil Underwood, Atom's Fury. Weevil made two fatal mistakes this day, joining up with darts to achieve more power and angering Atom with a dirty trick. You could say Atom took things too far to win the duel, but honestly, Weevil deserved it. Let's see. Oh well. Please. Go! Number 20 vs Leon Von Schroeder, Grand Championship Finals. In the final battle of Kaiba's Grand Championship, Yugi vs the boy wonder Leon and his fairy tale themed deck for the ultimate title of King of Games. Unfortunately, any chance of a fair duel is sabotaged by Leon's underhanded older brother, Siegfried, and an illegal spell card that slowly destroys everything. How do I destroy that castle? Magic and trap cards are useless against it. Fortunately, Yugi is able to help Leon escape his brother's toxic influence and win his title back with one very last card, and his dark magician, naturally. Number 19 vs The Paradox Brothers Just as you did pledge, 
but with our scores. Ahead of yours, we still have the edge. After being lost in a cave for so long, the gang finds themselves in an underground dueling arena owned by the Paradox Brothers. Their only way to escape is with a tag team duel, Para and Dox versus Yugi and Joey. With the labyrinth wall in play, our duo will have to be cautious with every twist and turn that awaits them, including the twins' all-powerful Gate Guardian. Yes, our Gate Guardian, you cannot possibly win! Oh, it has the strength of three monsters! Fortunately, Yuki and Joey's friendship make them an unstoppable twosome, encouraging each other, watching each other's backs, and even combining their forces to create the Black Skull Dragon. For the series' very first tag team duel, it definitely highlights these best friends' camaraderie, anime logic or not. Number 18 vs. Yami Bakura, the final encounter. You know, Yugi, without the Pharaoh controlling your every move, you don't stand a chance. Yugi and Atom have had each other's backs for years, but when the two are separated, Yugi will have to face Yami Bakura all on his own. Of course, Bakura won't make things easy. Along with his ruthless taunting, he unleashes a ghoulish strategy that costs Yugi more than half his deck with only one card left to play. Miraculously, that one card is all Yugi needs to silence Yami Bakura for good. Gandora, the Dragon of Destruction. Activate your special ability! And thus, Yugi proves once and for all that he is more than capable of handling a duel on his own with or without Atom. Of course, it's usually better with Atom. More than enough to wipe you out! Now, swordsman, attack! I never get tired of watching you kick butt, you! Number 17 versus Mind Controlled Joey Wheeler. Are you ready to duel, Yugi? I am. Let's do this. Prepare to lose, fool. It's time to duel! Marek has crossed the line this time, brainwashing Joey and forcing Yugi into a booby trap duel that could cost both friends their lives. The entire situation is nail-biting, but it also feels a bit drawn out with the character's constant monologuing, which is especially bad when they're on a time limit. He's just gotta keep fighting! and break free before that anchor falls into the ocean, taking us with it! Fortunately, with a little assistance from Joey's red eyes, Yugi helps Joey break Marek's spell, showing that our favorite underdog is stronger than everyone thinks. It's still a tense, nerve-wracking duel that cements the strength of Yugi and Joey's friendship even when mind games are at play, and it rightfully ends in a tie. Yugi, you've saved my butt more times than I can count. This time, Joey's gonna be the one doing the rescuing! Number 16, this is Seto Kaiba Rematch. I create the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon! With the soul of his little brother on the line, Kaiba is forced to duel against Yugi for the right to face Pegasus. Already, Kaiba has the upper hand on Yugi thanks to a virus that wipes out Yugi's strongest monsters and his own ultimate beast, the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. But thanks to game-breaking anime logic, Yugi turns the duel around and it looks like he'll win, until Kaiba pulls one last cheap, desperate act that forces Yugi to surrender. You can attack my blue eyes again and wipe out my remaining life points, but if you do, the resulting shockwaves might cause me to lose my balance. Don't tempt me! Poor Yugi is thrown into an existential crisis and his confidence is shattered. And we got to see firsthand a darker side to Atom, willing to put Kaiba at risk to win a duel. Not every battle is worth winning. <sighs> I almost couldn't control it. This other presence deep inside me. Number 15, this is Weevil Underwood, Duelist Kingdom. Keep drawing, Yugi. My army of insects just keeps getting bigger. I'm going to wipe out all your monsters in one bug blitzkrieg. The Duelist Kingdom tournament has officially begun, and for his first duel, Yugi is ready to swat out the pesky little bug duelist, Weevil Underwood. 
The regional champion has had it coming since he smugly threw away Yuki's rare Exodia cards, thinking he could cripple the young duelist. Then the little weasel tries to take advantage of the field bonus that he only discovered by cheating. Unfortunately for Weevil, his arrogance is his ultimate undoing, as Yugi swats out his disgusting insects with the aid of his summoned skull. Summon skull! Lightning strike! And thus, the so-called regional champ is the first to get beaten in the tournament. Most of all, this duel proved that Yugi doesn't need Exodia to be a winner. It's over. I've won. Number 14. This is Raphael. Since I'm the returning champion, I'll start things off. Raphael was undeniably one of Atom's strongest opponents, the only one to ever beat him in a fair duel. But if Atom wants a chance to take out darts, he'll have to go through Raphael in the ultimate rematch. While their first brawl was Atom's darkest hour, this duel was his ultimate redemption, staying true to himself and reclaiming his title of the King of Games. Eatos, attack his dread scythe now! Speaking of, even though Raphael played the Seal of Arikalkos and lost, Atom was able to help him overcome Darts' influence and spare his soul from being taken. Honestly, Raphael was never a bad man. He was just led astray by a madman's lies. But Raphael was able to conquer that darkness. So my soul was spared. I'm free. Number 13. This is my Valentine, Duelist Kingdom. No matter how badly I need to rescue Grandpa, hurting someone else is something I will not do. I meant no harm. The first round of the Duelist Kingdom Finals pits Yugi against the Harpy Lady Mistress, My Valentine. Unfortunately, Yugi isn't playing with a full deck, so to speak. He's lost his trust in Atom and does whatever he can to keep his alter ego out of the fight. This causes him to be careless with his dueling, and Mai is humiliating him at every turn. Once both halves finally make peace, they turn this duel around and bring down the heat with the fierce Black Luster Soldier. Who'd have thought there'd be a way of bringing that kick butt monster out of Yugi's deck? <sighs> and just when they're ready to end this duel, Mai forfeits and Yugi wins by default. Okay, kind of anticlimactic, but who cares? Atom and Yugi are friends again. The duel is yours, Yugi. Number 12. This is Arcana. Dark Magician! Attack with dark magic now! They'll destroy each other! We all know Yugi's most iconic monster is the Dark Magician. But what would happen if he faced another Dark Magician duelist? He finds out the hard way when he's lured into a booby trap duel by the heavily disturbed Arcana. This overdramatic rare hunter has his own Dark Magician and is hell-bent to prove that he is the master of the iconic sorcerer. Unfortunately for Arcana, all his underhanded tricks are for naught, especially when Yugi debuts one of his most memorable monsters of all time, the Dark Magician Girl. Dark Magician Girl, attack his life points directly! Also, we can't talk about this match without bringing up the buzzsaw slash energy disc censorship changes. It's for kids. Nothing was too ridiculous for them. You relied on trickery to win, instead of trusting and respecting the heart of the cards. <gasps> the dark energy disc! No, this can't be happening! Number 11. This is Noah Kaiba. And now you and your friends are about to pay the price. All because you're defending the honor of someone who didn't even like you, Yugi. While this virtual duel was originally between Kaiba and his manipulative half-brother Noah, Noah's underhanded tactics resulted in Kaiba being turned to stone. Outraged at Noah's deceit, Yugi steps in to teach this cowardly brat a lesson. But of course, Noah won't make it easy for him. He literally towers over Yugi with a major life point advantage. His spirit monsters practically rule the field, and he keeps turning Yugi's friends to stone to break the struggling duelist. Silence! Ah! Yugi! I still believe! Stay up. 
But be honest, when has a small setback ever stopped the King of Games before? With some major help from Kaiba's blue eyes, Yugi puts an end to Noah's virtual nightmare for good in one triumphant flash of lightning. Wipe him out! Number 10 vs Loomis and Umbra That's because the very surface on which we stand is a divider between our world <laughs> and the dreaded Shadow Realm. Even though Yugi and Kaiba are heated rivals, it's a rare treat to see them working together. With their friend's safety at risk, the duo is forced into a tag team duel against two of Marek's rare hunters, where the loser plummets through the glass ceiling. Admittedly, Kaiba's the one who ultimately squashes the two goons, but Yugi saved his butt throughout the duel more times than he can count. You're wrong. You must try to put your frustration aside and trust in the heart of the cards. Yugi actually understands the value of teamwork, and as the duel goes on, Kaiba slowly learns the value of it too. Plus, we get to see the debut of one of Yugi's coolest monsters, Valkyrian, the Magna Warrior. Ugh! What is that? Behold, Valkyrian, the Magna Warrior! Number 9, this is Yami Bakura, Battle City. This duel will end and you'll lose absolutely everything, Yugi! <laughs> With everyone on board Kaiba's blimp, the Battle City quarterfinals have officially begun, and the very first match pits Yugi vs Yami Bakura. Bakura could have raised the stakes and turned the duel into a shadow game, but he instead chose to play it smart, using magic and trap cards to protect himself and his terrifying ghouls while implementing a strategy that may extinguish Yugi in just a few turns. And the second letter is I. Only three letters left! To get out of this fiendish trap, Yugi will have to call upon his Egyptian god card, Slifer the Sky Dragon, for the very first time. A duel with Bakura always guarantees an intense, bone chilling challenge, but it just makes Yugi's victory all the more satisfying. Yugi's won this duel, but I'll be back to take what's mine. Number 8, this is Seto Kaiba. The rivalry begins. Draw your last pathetic card so I can end this, Yugi. My grandpa's deck has no pathetic cards, Kaiba. Every rivalry starts somewhere. After the smug Seto Kaiba harms Yugi's grandpa, Yugi challenges the world champion to a duel to teach him a lesson. As the first major duel of the series, this match lays out but a few of the basics for the game of Duel Monsters, or at least the basics of them back then, and presents Yugi with his very first challenge, overcoming the power of Kaiba's unstoppable Blue Eyes White Dragons. On my next turn, all three Blue Eyes White Dragons are free to attack. This game's over no matter what card you draw. Miraculously, he puts the arrogant Kaiba in his place by achieving the impossible, assembling all five pieces of Exodia the Forbidden One. This not only sets the stage for Yugi and Kaiba's ongoing rivalry, but also establishes Yugi's ability to control fate itself. Exodia, obliterate! Number 7 vs Darts Alright, ready Kaiba? I'm way ahead of you. Finally, it's time for Darts to pay for all the lives he's ruined. And who better to stomp him out than two of the world's best duelists, Atom and Kaiba. Sadly, that's easier said than done, as Darts' conniving tactics and maliciousness make him untouchable. Worst of all, when Kaiba is knocked out first, Atom will have to struggle alone against a beast with infinite attack points. As long as my divine serpent is on the field, I remain in the game. But if you destroy him, you win. His strength, it's infinite. At one point, he even considers surrendering, but his will and determination are too strong to be broken. In the end, this duel, as well as the Waking the Dragon's Ark as a whole, was the ultimate test of the Pharaoh's character and his ability to overcome the impossible. And he passed. Now release the souls of my friends and everyone else you've held captive. <sighs> Number 6, this is Strings. You're finished, Yugi! Prepare to feel his wrath! How can I stop it? 
halfway through the battle city, Yuki finds himself face to face with Strings, a mime brainwashed by Marek. In addition to being just plain freaky looking, Marek's little puppet is armed with a seemingly perfect card combination, and the all-powerful Egyptian god card, Sly for the Sky Dragon. There's no way out, and Yuki is trapped in a no-win loop, right? Wrong. With one carefully planned maneuver, Yugi manages to exploit Strings' strategy until the mime automatically loses by running out of cards to draw. My Egyptian god card will continue to grow stronger with each cycle as I draw more cards. But it doesn't matter because I'm trapped. <sighs> With this one brilliant move, Yugi manages to defeat an Egyptian god and earns said card as a prize. Lucky or not, it takes a clever duelist to turn an opponent's perfect strategy against them and emerge victorious. That means I win. It's over! Uh, it can't be! Number 5 versus Joey Wheeler, Duelist Kingdom Semi-Finals It's your pick, Joey. So tell me, which hat do you think is hiding the Dark Magician? Uh, I was hoping to end this duel before he drew the magical hats. Both Yugi and Joey have come so far in the Duelist Kingdom tournaments, and now they must face each other in the semi-finals, where the winner walks away with $3 million and the honor of dueling Pegasus. Seeing two best friends duel it out is harsh enough, but both their goals are noble and for the sake of their loved ones, so we're not sure who we should root for. You fought a valiant duel, my friend, and this is the hardest move I've ever had to make. But this ends now. <gasps> of course, because the plot demands it, Yugi wins the match, but he gives Joey the prize money because Joey worked too hard to get here and deserves his happy ending. Overall, it was a tense match that ended positively for both players, but it's merely the calm before the storm. Number 4 versus Maximilian Pegasus, Duelist Kingdom Finals. Take a close look at the card you hold in your hand, mm -hmm. Yugi Boy. There's a reason that it's blank, you know. For if I win, I claim your soul forever. Mm. The end of the Duelist Kingdom Finals has finally arrived, where Yugi will take on the creator of Duel Monsters himself. Maximilian Pegasus. With so many souls depending on him, he can't afford to lose this match. Unfortunately, he may be in over his head this time. Pegasus's creepy monsters and mind-reading powers definitely hinder Yugi's chances, and just when he thinks he figures out a winning strategy, Pegasus stomps that too. Yugi? Yugi! Spirit! <gasps> <laughs> However, the strength of Yugi's friends gives him the courage to overcome his opponent's cheating and literally beat the great creator at his own game with a little extra firepower from the Magician of Black Chaos. Oh. Attack, Magician! With Chaos Scepter Blast! <laughs> Number 3. This is Yami Marek, Battle City Finals. <laughs> After two long seasons, we've arrived at the Battle City Finals. Yugi vs. Yami Marek. There is so much at stake in this shadow game. The fate of the world and the fate of everyone Marek's dark side has ever hurt, including Marek himself. It gets even more dangerous when the Egyptian gods come into play, and Marek can outsmart Yugi at almost every turn. But in the end, Yuki unleashes the appropriately named Ragnarok, and Yami Marek is trampled by an armada of every monster in Yugi's deck, with Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl leading the way. Now, Dark Magician, with the help of my entire army of monsters, unleash your incredible force! And with this last glorious parade, the nightmare is finally over, and Yugi rightfully claims the Battle City crown. What are you doing? I'm honoring the Ishtar name by surrendering the duel. Number 2. Yugi vs. Atom The Ceremonial Duel If you taught me anything, it's to put your heart into your deck and duel with everything you've got. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do! 
At last, we've come to the final battle of the anime, the ceremonial duel between Yugi and Atom. This will determine if the Pharaoh can finally be put to rest and if Yugi is finally ready to move on without his closest friend. Either way, both duelists are giving it their all, bringing out their strongest and most iconic monsters for an all-out clash of the titans. Undeniably, the two biggest highlights of this duel are Yugi taking out all three Egyptian gods at once and Kaiba finally admitting that his rival is better than him. I can see now that I was wrong, Mokuba. He is the king of games. <gasps> You mean that? The ending is very bittersweet. Yuki emerges triumphant, but he must bid his oldest friend goodbye, as the Pharaoh's 5,000-year-old journey is complete. Fate brought the two of us together for a reason, and we fulfilled our destiny. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1 This is Seto Kaiba, Battle City Semi Finals. We're about to find out which one of our Egyptian god cards reigns supreme. So let the epic battle begin! It's the true clash of the ages, Yugi vs Kaiba in the Battle City Semi Finals, and whoever wins will face Marek in the finals. Most importantly, it'll finally settle the score for these two longtime rivals, and they do not disappoint. There are no cheap tricks or heart of the cards miracles, it's an all out, ferocious battle between two of the best duelists in the show. They match each other blow for blow, not just with their Egyptian gods, but with their most iconic monsters of all Kaiba's Blue Eyes White Dragon and Yugi's Dark Magician. Just look at the field! Blue Eyes White Dragon faces the Dark Magician! The time has come to accept your destiny, Kaiba! In the end, Yugi emerges triumphant, and it's a well-deserved victory that highlights the passion and skills he displays whenever he enters the dueling arena. You lose, Kaiba! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I told you your hatred and your lust for power would never prevail. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.